Index of refraction of a transparent material. A laser beam shines along the surface of a block of transparent material. As you can see in the figure, we have a detector on one side and we have a laser beam that shines along the surface. Half of the beam goes straight to a detector. So this half goes straight to the detector. And while the other half travels through the block and then hits the detector. So this is the other half that travels through the block and hits the detector. The time delay between the arrival of the two light beams at the detector is 6.25 nanoseconds. Well, you know that light slows down when it enters a material with index of refraction n. So there will be a delay in the arrival times of this beam and this beam. So what is the index of refraction of this material? The index of refraction by definition is the ratio of the speed of light in vacuum C divided by the speed of light inside the material V. The speed of light in vacuum is 3 times 10 to 8 meters per second roughly. So this is speed of light in vacuum, which is approximately also the speed of light in air. So we can just take the index of refraction in air to be approximately equal to 1. V is the speed of light in the transparent material. So that's basically the block we're talking about here. Okay. Now I'm going to call this transparent material TM. All right. Now the distance traveled by the light beam in air, let's call it delta X is the speed of light in air, C, which is approximately the speed of light in vacuum, times the time spent in air. So this is a constant uh, speed motion. Uh, and it's the same distance, delta x, as you can see from this figure, the 2.5 meters, the distance traveled by the light in air, and that's also the distance traveled by the light in the transparent material, so that is going to be equal to the speed of light in the transparent material times the time spent inside the transparent material. So if we calculate the delay between the arrival times of the light beams, this delay will be equal to the time spent in the transparent material, delta TTM, minus the time spent in air for the half that travels through the air. And because they're traveling the same distance, the time spent in the transparent material is delta x divided by v. And the time spent in the air will be equal to delta x divided by c. So we can see that in delta x parentheses, we have here c minus v divided by CV. When we uh, write the common denominator. So this will be in delta x parentheses, 1 over V minus 1 over C, which is C minus V divided by CV. And also recall that C, the speed of light in air, will be the index of refraction N multiplied with B, because N was by definition uh, C divided by V, so C is equal to N times V. Now, the delay time, tau, the delay time will be equal to delta X times, if I substitute for C, N times V, N times V minus V, divided by CV, that becomes N times V squared. So I substitute and V for C. So this means I have delta X times 
n minus 1 divided by n times 1 over v because one of the v's will cancel here so you can see that I will be left with 1 over v and this is equal to delta x times n minus 1 over n and now for v I will substitute uh, c divided by n so 1 over v becomes n divided by c so this is n divided by c 1 over v 1 over v is n divided by c so these n's will cancel and I will find that the delay time times the speed of light so tau is equal to delta x n minus 1 over c so c goes to the right hand side I will have the delay time times speed of light uh, in vacuum or air c is equal to n minus 1 times delta x so you can see that uh, with this we will have uh, n is equal to tau c divided by delta x plus 1 so I'm taking this to the left hand side tau c over delta x and then I add 1 to get index of refraction uh, which is delta x plus tau c divided by delta x so this is what I will find as the symbolic answer uh, but to get the numerical value I have to substitute uh, these numbers here so what is the delta x uh, the distance traveled is 2.5 meters so it's going to be 2.5 plus the delay time was given as 6.25 nanoseconds so it is 6.25 times 10 to minus 9 seconds times the speed of light in air 3 times 10 to 8 meters per second divided by delta x which is 2.5 so this gives us a 2.5 plus 1.875 divided by 2.5 and we reach the final answer n is equal to 1.75 so index of refraction of the transparent material is found to be 1.75 okay so let's see what we did here we have a laser beam that is traveling a distance 2.5 meters in air and a distance 2.5 meters in the transparent material uh, before that they were basically in air and uh, there was no delay between these beams of light so the delay occurred when the laser beam entered the transparent material its uh, new speed v is, is equal to c over n where n is greater than 1 so it basically slows down in the transparent material as we have discussed in the lecture that is due to the uh, finite time it takes um, uh, for the electrons to absorb and emit radiation inside the transparent uh, material so uh, the travel time between the atoms is the same uh, what we find is that uh, the distance traveled delta x can be written as speed of light in air times delta t in air and speed of light in the material times the delta t in the material so the delay is the difference between delta t tm transparent material minus delta t air which is delta x over v minus delta x over c which is delta x c minus v over c v for c if we substitute n v we find that this would be uh, delta x times n minus 1 over c and so tau c is n minus 1 delta x uh, and uh, in the final step here i substituted for 1 over v n over c so that these n's cancelled and this gave me delta x plus tau c over delta x as the answer 
when we plug in the numbers, the index of refraction is 1.75.